Okay, hi Needers of the World, I'm Deanna Gutman. I'm owner of Needles in the Hay in Peterborough, Ontario. And this is Sarah Deeth, and I am one of the employees here at Needles in the Hay and a avid knitter. Yes, and we love the Fibercore lore. <laughs> Absolutely we do. It's actually one of our favorite yarns at the shop. And it's also a favorite of many of our customers for many different reasons. Mm -hmm. So lore is made with 100% uh, UK lamb's wool. Um, it's a woolen spun yarn, which means that it's light and lofty and you get all kinds of yardage in the skein. How much have we got here? We've got 250 meters or 273 yards and that's an amazing value um, it's technically a DK weight but we were just saying that it's really on the cusp um, so for North American knitters um, who knit a lot of worsted weight it can work in that category as well and because of the wool and spun nature it's very flexible so when you block it you know if you knit it with a little bit of space between the stitches it is going to fluff out and look beautiful after your first wash and we recommend lore for all types of projects so i did this this is weathers by in kingston it is a stranded color work sweater i did it using two shades um serene and i think exquisite ambitious I think. ambitious yes yeah. sorry <laughs> Um, but I mean, it was just a joy to work with because it's got that sort of sticky texture to it, which makes it really great for holding your color work stitches together. And so that can be used on everything from mittens to hats. And then it's also incredibly soft. So it's just nice to work with in that sense. Yeah, it's not soft in the traditional sense. You know, if you're used to working with like three ply or four ply worsted spun yarns, this is different, you know. When they make a woolen spun yarn, they jumble up all the fibers so the fibers are dyed first then they're blended then they're mixed together and spun um, and that gives you kind of a fluffy texture so the other thing too I like about lore is the color palette is actually just off the hook <laughs> like it is these colors are gorgeous they have sort of like a tweedy heathered effect like most of the tones you know they come like it's sort of a tonal kind of yarn it's just beautiful to look at mm -hmm. yeah all the heathers and the different hues are amazing it's a perfect palette for color work and it's super versatile so yes you know looks amazing in color work but it also does cables ribbing anything that you want to do so i'm wearing Havra by Annie Lupton and this is in the colorway Comfort. Um, this is the very first project I ever knit in lore and I enjoyed every minute of it and it does have sort of a cable and bobble um, motif and lots of ribbing and stockinette so you get really good stitch definition there um, and we have this other sample here too. So this vest um, is also from the original collection, the Borrowdale collection that came out um, with Lore. And you can see the crisscrossing cables on this vest look amazing. So the stitch definition is really off the hook um, and it's perfect. So really like any project um, that you want like to be warm and cozy, um, this is an amazing yarn for that. And just for knitters too, I mean, lore is just a tremendous value. I mean, at 250 meters or 273 yards, like that is a healthy skein. You know, you can actually get a lot of projects done without having to buy a whole lot of it. And you know, right now that kind of, that's kind of a big deal. Like it's, it's nice to have like a really good value, high mm -hmm. quality yarn in the shop that we can offer to customers. Mm -hmm, absolutely. And I have kind of a fun anecdote to share um, with you guys as well. So we were one of the original stockists uh, for Lore when it first came out and I was so excited about this yarn. I had been pumping it up for weeks uh, before the launch date and then there was a delay with customs and everything and we weren't going to get it on time. So my mom and I hopped into the car and we literally drove to Rochester, New York to pick up this yarn so that we could have it um, 
in time for launch day and I'll just share this photo with you of as well of me <laughs> the day after <laughs> on launch day uh, holding lore so this is uh, this yarn is definitely close to our hearts um, there's lots of great patterns for it um, especially that original Borodale collection and we really encourage you to give it a shot and um, you'll find it at the Fiber Co but also here at Needles in the Hay um, so Canadian knitters needles in the hay.ca we got we've got your lore <laughs> so so come get it